Uh, certainly in the room last night, uh, I have zero sense that uh, the unity of the uh, Europe is threatened. The EU27, we are um, uh, uh, very open, very close. There's a very good uh, ambiance. There's a good rapport uh, among and between the member states. I don't think this is a, a, a threat. I think the real issue is uh, why are citizens, not only uh, uh, in Europe, but uh, one could say in the entire Western world, sort of unhappy uh, with the status quo. Uh, is it um, uh, a question of opportunity? Is it a question of uh, distribution of wealth? So opportunities to, to better one's uh, stance. Uh, is it uh, an educational divide? It, it, it seems to be a lot of these things sort of combined as one. And of course, a, a very distant memory of war and unrest. So we, we in the east of Europe, in the Baltics, um, for us, uh, occupation ended uh, only 28 years ago. So we very much remember what it means not to live in freedom, not to have the freedom of movement, the freedom of capital, the freedom of enterprise. We treasure these things. But it seems that for some of our partners in Europe whose, whose experiences are maybe two or three generations ago, um, maybe that has something to do with it. But we as politicians, what we need to do is not people talk of populists and you have to fight the populists. I don't think that's right. I think we have to try to understand why are some people unhappy and what can we do as politicians to better the, uh, the circumstances. I'm convinced that no matter what the solution is, uh, in the world economy of today, it's better that Europe sticks together and works as a unit, as a unit, as a single market. We are the single largest market in the world. As individual countries, even the so-called large European countries are actually quite small. There's the U.S. Uh, market, there's the Chinese market. These are what we need to um, stand up uh, and, and deal with as equals, not as junior partners. And we can do that when we're all working together. And that's the beauty and the strength of the European Union. That the institution can be improved, of course, uh, but uh, it's, it's a little bit like democracy. Uh, uh, with all its flaws, I don't think there's anything better that anyone will ever come up with. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.